Well, here we are. The shopping season is officially upon us. People are standing in long lines to get door buster deals. They're gonna be shopping at work all day on the computer to find that perfect Cyber Monday gift. And I'll have to admit, I was gonna make an episode of my favorite, I don't know, five or 10 favorite camping gadgets that you just couldn't live without. And I was gonna to try to show that to you. I'm not gonna put you through that. I've got a list of things I think are pretty cool. You could check that in the description below if that interests you. If it's not, keep your money in your pocket. But today, we're gonna to do something that's better than all of that. We've pulled up next to a river here in the Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area, and we're gonna brew some coffee. Several episodes ago, I took a camping trip to another part of the Big South Fork, and I showed you that I was brewing coffee in an aluminum percolator. It was an old antique percolator I picked up at a flea market, and I can't even begin to tell you how many people chimed in and said, please don't use that. It's, it's got chemicals in it that's gonna leach into the, to the coffee, and it's gonna cause you to get Alzheimer's when you get older. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but so many of you chimed in that I went ahead and I picked up a new percolator. So here's, here's the old one. You'll probably remember this, the old aluminum percolator, just a little tiny thing. I think it holds five cups. Um, I ended up going with this stainless steel percolator. It's a six cup percolator and um, it's a little bit heavier, shiny. I don't know if that makes a difference. But anyway, I've switched to stainless steel. So all you that's been looking out for me and giving me those tips, I appreciate that. So let's get to brewing some coffee. smell is incredible. So how does it taste? Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Nothing like a good cup of joe by a river. So craziest thing. <clears throat> I'm on the way down here to shoot this video today and I get behind, looks like a rescue squad truck uh, going down the highway in front of me and it had a real nice Yeti cooler in the back of it. Well, this thing's driving a little fast. Obviously, they must have been on their way somewhere. Um, it ends up taking a curve, like, really fast. 
and this Yeti cooler falls out in the middle of the highway. So I slam the brakes, I don't want to hit it. I pull over to the side of the road and go grab the cooler, and I'm like, well, at least I can get the cooler back to them. So they didn't stop, they just kept on going. Um, I picked the cooler up, ended up having like a big crack across the front of it. So I gotta believe the cooler's not gonna be good for anything anymore. So anyway, pulled it over to the truck and uh, opened it up. It ended up having, I don't know, a few inches of ice in the bottom of the cooler. And it had a Ziploc bag with an old, old bloody toe in it. Oh my goodness, didn't expect to see that. Um, I didn't know what to do. I mean, the rescue squad's already down the road by this point. So I called 911. And, you know, they ask a bunch of information, and I said, listen, this guy was in a hurry, it fell out, there's a bloody toe, I don't know if they're going to the hospital with it or what. So, 911 operator, she, she was really cool about it, um, and she did, I guess, what any good 11 operator would do. She called a tow truck. So I hope you enjoyed that nice little break away from the hustle and bustle of the busy shopping season. Sometimes you just gotta get away and smell the coffee. And there's no better way to do that than with your teardrop camper out by a nice flowing river. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I had a good time making it. And before we get out of here, um, you probably noticed this camping camera decal. I do have these available. So I told you I wasn't gonna give you a sales pitch. I guess I'm giving you a little sales pitch. Um, if you want one of those, I'll put a link to them in the description below. But, hey, appreciate you being here, and enjoy the holiday season. Till next time, take care. We'll see you on the road.